Welcome to the vibrant world of a cinematic classic that needs no introduction where the engines roar and the dice roll in the 1964 film set against the backdrop of the dazzling Las Vegas Strip. Have you ever wondered about the hidden tales behind the scenes or the lesser known anecdotes that add a touch of intrigue to this timeless piece of entertainment? Perhaps you're reminiscing about the first time you witnessed the on-screen chemistry that sizzled between the legendary pair Elvis Presley and Anne Margaret. Now, let's delve into some fascinating facts that might just surprise you. Did you know that the King of Rock and Roll himself performed most of his own stunts in the film, adding an authentic adrenaline rush to the captivating scenes? Or how about the fact that the iconic song Viva Las Vegas almost didn't make it into the movie, only to become synonymous with the film and the city it celebrates? Speaking of personal experiences, when was the first time you found yourself captivated by the allure of this cinematic gem? Were you drawn in by the energetic performances, the catchy tunes, or the sheer charisma of the lead actors? We're curious to hear about your most cherished memories or any personal anecdotes related to this classic. Share your stories and experiences in the comments below. We would love to hear from you. So, whether you're a devoted fan or a newcomer to the magic of Viva Las Vegas, there's always something new to discover and share. Get ready to roll the dice and join the conversation about this cinematic masterpiece. In the 1964 film, the opening sequence of Viva Las Vegas showcases numerous casinos. Surprisingly, only six of them from that time still operate today. The cinematic glimpse into the city's past offers a stark contrast to its present reality, highlighting the transient nature of Las Vegas entertainment landscape. Interestingly, in the United Kingdom, the movie underwent a title change to Love in Las Vegas. This alteration not only impacted the film's branding, but also rendered the iconic title song, Viva Las Vegas, a non-title song for UK audiences. The decision to retitle the movie reflected the nuances of international film distribution, where titles are strategically adjusted to resonate with diverse audiences. Adding a touch of flair to the film is Rusty's choice of Wheels of Triumph TR3A. This classic car, driven by the character, adds a dash of vintage charm to the movie's visual narrative. The Triumph TR3A, a symbol of 1960s style, complements the glitz and glamour of the Las Vegas setting. As the film unfolds, these subtle details weave into the broader tapestry of Viva Las Vegas, contributing to its cultural significance and cinematic appeal. The enduring presence of a handful of featured casinos, the title transformation for UK viewers, and Rusty's sleek Triumph TR3A collectively capture the essence of the movie's enduring legacy. In summary, Viva Las Vegas transcends its cinematic frame to become a snapshot of a bygone era, where casinos stood tall, titles evolved, and stylish cars cruised the streets etched into the annals of film history. Elvis Presley's 1964 film, known for its enduring impact on Las Vegas, harbors intriguing details beyond its glitzy surface. The iconic title tune, initially a soundtrack, has evolved into the unofficial anthem for the city. Its resonance persists over the decades, encapsulating the spirit of Las Vegas. Notably, Tony Basil, later famous for Mickey, graces a memorable scene as the girl with the red dress on during the performance of What I Say. Amid the glittering facade, Elvis' close friend, Red West, assumes different uncredited roles, subtly enriching the cinematic experience. These subtle nuances, often overlooked, deepen the connection between the film and its audience. In this cinematic time capsule, where each frame unfolds a piece of history, Viva Las Vegas transcends mere entertainment, leaving an indelible mark on both Elvis' legacy and the city it celebrates. In the aftermath of Viva Las Vegas, Elvis Presley and Anne Margaret ascended to headliner status in Las Vegas, consistently drawing massive crowds. Their performances became iconic, solidifying their places as the city's premier entertainers. This success reverberated beyond the screen, as both artists regularly took center stage in various Las Vegas venues, leaving an indelible mark on the city's entertainment landscape. Notably, the film's financial triumph is underscored by its impressive earnings in distributors' rentals. According to Variety, Viva Las Vegas outpaced even the Beatles' A Hard Day's Night in 1964, grossing $9,442,9067 compared to the latter's $6,165,000. This financial feat speaks volumes about the enduring popularity and commercial prowess of Elvis Presley, transcending the fervor of Beatlemania during that era. Furthermore, the film's lasting impact extends to the iconic Flamingo Hotel, where the pool scene was shot. 
The unmistakable neon pink color scheme of the flamingo, captured in the film, has stood the test of time. Despite changes in the hotel over the decades, the allure of the pool scene and the enduring pink decoration theme continue to be a vibrant part of the flamingo's identity. In conclusion, Viva Las Vegas not only marked a pivotal moment in the careers of Elvis Presley and Anne Margaret, but also left an enduring imprint on Las Vegas itself. Its influence is evident not just in the entertainment realm, but also in the iconic visuals captured at the Flamingo, a testament to the film's timeless legacy. Elvis Presley's 1964 film, known for its enduring impact on Las Vegas, harbors intriguing details beyond its glitzy surface. Notably, the scene featuring Presley singing Viva Las Vegas stands out for its unique filming Technoquate unfolds in one continuous, unedited shot a rarity in Presley's cinematic repertoire. Lasting approximately one hour and 25 minutes, this film holds the distinction of being the shortest in Elvis Presley's career. Despite its brevity, Viva Las Vegas packs a punch, capturing the essence of the era and the vibrant spirit of the city it celebrates. Curiously, despite the film's musical emphasis, no official soundtrack album was released during its theatrical run. The absence of an accompanying soundtrack adds an intriguing layer to the film's history, with the reason behind this decision remaining undisclosed. In this cinematic snapshot, the choice of a single unbroken shot for the iconic song, the film's concise duration, and the absence of a soundtrack album contribute to the unique charm of Viva Las Vegas. These aspects, often overlooked, enrich the audience's connection to the film, showcasing the meticulous choices made in its creation. In a notable scene from the movie, Lucky Jackson and Count Elmo scour the bustling casinos in search of Rusty Martin amidst the showgirls. Accompanying this quest is the instrumental rendition of Blue Moon, a song originally recorded by Elvis Presley on his 1956 debut album titled Elvis Presley. The familiar tune adds a nostalgic layer to the film, connecting it to Presley's earlier musical repertoire. Beyond the cinematic frame, interesting anecdotes emerge about the personal lives of the lead actors. Elvis Presley and Anne Margaret, who shared vibrant on-screen chemistry, began dating during the pre-production phase. According to Anne Margaret, their romance endured for a year, creating a real-life subplot that echoed the energy of the film itself. Notably, during the electrifying What I Say performance, future Oscar nominee Terry Garr can be spotted dancing to Anne Margaret's right. Dressed in a white top with black trim, a black skirt and black heels, Gar's presence adds an unexpected layer of star-studded talent to the dance sequence. These behind-the-scenes details shed light on the multifaceted nature of the 1964 cinematic gem, providing insights into the intertwining worlds of music, romance, and the talent that graced the set. Such nuances, often overlooked, contribute to the enduring appeal of Viva Las Vegas, making it a captivating blend of entertainment and personal narratives. As the curtains fall on our journey through the glittering oasis of on-screen charisma and rhythmic allure, I encourage you to pause and delve into the chambers of your own memories. The year 1964 may be a distant echo, but the echoes of Viva Las Vegas resonate through time, touching hearts, and sparking a dance of recollections. Let the nostalgia-infused breeze carry you back to the electrifying chemistry of Elvis Presley and Anne Margaret, two stars that collided in a symphony of engines and romance. Did the music transport you to a realm where the engines roared in harmony with your beating heart? Or perhaps the vibrant colors of the screen painted a canvas of emotions, etching indelible moments in the scrapbook of your experiences? Now, I extend an invitation to you, dear reader, to share those cherished fragments of connection. What lingers in the corridors of your mind when you think of Viva Las Vegas? Was it the music that struck a chord, the characters that mirrored your own journey, or the sheer cinematic magic that left an imprint on your soul? Unearth those gems and cast them into the spotlight. In this tapestry of shared sentiments, your voice becomes a note in the melody of collective remembrance. Let the comment section below be the stage where your reflections take center stage, weaving a vibrant mosaic of perspectives that enrich the legacy of this timeless cinematic gem. Thank you for embarking on this cinematic odyssey with us, for allowing the celluloid magic of Viva Las Vegas to wrap its timeless embrace around you. Your presence, your thoughts, and your memories make this journey complete. Until our paths cross again in the realms of shared experiences, let the residents of Viva Las Vegas linger in the recesses of your heart. Authentically and cinematically yours.